Come and welcome back to another video, man. So shout out to everybody out there. So um about to bring you some League of Legends news. So pretty much we're gonna talk about uh patch eleven point uh fifteen uh notes. So shout out to everybody out there, shout out to League of Legends, shout out to Riot Games for providing this information and uh hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And um uh, I am trying to get to um uh thousand and one thousand subscribers. So if you guys will subscribe to the channel for all your latest League of Legends news and and uh, every other news, video game news wise, man, just subscribe and uh, they can provide that for you. But let's get into this, man. So, uh, so we're going to talk about patch 11, 11.15. So, uh, saddle up, sending out, welcome to 11.15. Um, nothing too wild there, nothing too wild here. We're continuing to drop early, um, sustain in a few places, then buffing up champions in places that are a little spicy and a lot of fun. Uh, Blade Scannon, uh, Zaya. We've also got balance changes and updates for ultimate uh, spell book, um, including addition of a certain rocks co um, hold. Uh, in add in a sentinel with a glorious smile and a chain warden skin, literally, and you've got the gift, the gifs of it. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Uh, take this note. Uh, take this portal to the TF uh, patch note where Dawn of Heroes or. Um, Mid set full of Sentinel has begun. Okay, cool. Huh. All right, so the patch uh, patch highlights um, eleven point five pretty much equals um, buff. They're gonna they're gonna nerf Gwen. They're nerfing um, Annie is getting nerfed. Wu Kong is getting nerfed. Uh, Viego is getting nerfed. Uh, Kayla getting nerfed. Um, Silas getting nerfed. Irella is getting nerfed. <laughs> Um, Aurelian Soul is getting nerfed, and uh, Thresh is getting nerfed. Uh, for the, who's getting buffed, so uh, Blitzcrank, Blitzcrank is getting a buff, uh, Caitlyn getting a buff, uh, Cassiopeia, uh, probably saying some of these names wrong, I apologize if I'm saying them wrong, is getting buff, uh, Kenneth, uh, Kenan is getting buff, uh, Morde Kaiser is getting uh, a buff, uh, Nidalee, uh, Nidalee, Nidalee. Is getting buff. Rel is getting a buff. Uh, Shivana is getting a buff. Uh, Syndra getting a buff, and Zaya getting a buff. Um, adjusted or Rumble. Rumble is getting adjusted, and uh, systems uh, a, a hull breaker. And uh, what's new? They they have uh, Ashan, the Rogue Sentinel. They got Ruin Misfortune, uh, Sentinel Grave, Sentinel Pike, uh, Cyberpop Ashken, Unbound um, Thresh, and uh, Sentinel Rengar. Uh, so Sentinel Grave, Sentinel Pike, Sentinel Rengar, Ruin Miss, uh, Fortune, and uh, Cyber Pop Ash, um, Ashkan will be available July twenty second, which is today, to uh, two thousand and twenty twenty one. Uh, so Unbound Thresh will be available on July twenty ninth, so a week from now, uh, twenty twenty one, as a token shop exclusive, and will return as a certain purchase purchase skin on patch eleven. Point twenty, so rise of sentinel. Oh, this police outside. So we've heard your feedback on the slow progression rate in the rise of the sentinel in client narrative experience, starting with the next chapter of rise of the sentinel. We're adding a new initial, uh, infinitely repeatable mission that award extra sentinel points just for playing a game. Uh, including base TFT. Uh, note: Since we are go, uh, go doing this mid event, the mission are hidden, but the faster rate of progress progress should be immediately noticeable. So, new mission um, included: Play One PVP, uh, matchable game of uh, Summoner Rift, Aram Ultimate Spellbook, or um, Team Fight Tactics, exclus excluding Hyper Roll. Uh, to earn 600 rise of the sentinel point this mission can be repeated infinitely uh, it won't appear in your mission log that's pretty dope uh, activity um, activate uh, activates uh, with cheap chapter uh, 2 of rise of the sentinel this week pretty cool so the champion Ashkan Ashkan is new the rogue sentinel Ashkan swing into battle against uh, ruination on July 22nd so Ashkan ability rundown uh, okay okay that's pretty cool. Oh, damn, that's dope. That is dope. All right, so Annie, 
um, Q damage ratio decreased. So the small uh, Pyromaniac pyram and Erbeer are taking over skill play, and he does well versus short uh, short range characters, which are the are, are more common matchup. So we're lowering her uh, upfront burst damage lane at rat. So she getting nerfed. Uh, Q uh, disintegrates. Uh, so damage ratio went from 80 AP to 75 AP. So um, Aureliana Soul, um, er, she getting nerfed. Uh, he getting nerfed for uh, cooldown increase. He getting a cooldown increase. Uh, so, okay, cool. So Aureliana Soul is towing the line in elite, elite play and he's finally put his claw right over it, slowing him down accordingly. So cooldown, it went from, uh, yeah, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7 seconds to 12, 11, 10, 9, 8 uh, second. Uh, for Blitzcrank, uh, base armor and Q damage increase. Blitzcrank has been cranking up pretty low lethally in the in the early mid game, considering he's got a flashy, fight, uh, flashy fist. It should feel more rewarding when it's um, actually hits. To polish him off, polish him off. We're also giving him a thicker metal skin. So base stats equal armor from 37 to 40. And uh, Q rocket crab uh, damage um, is going to increase. It's going to go up from. It's going to go 90, 140, 190, uh, 240, 290. So it's going to have a plus increase of 120 AP percent. Uh, for Caitlyn, uh, the Q damage ratio increased later. So, uh, Sheriff of uh, Pilt, Pilt Over uh, could use some um, encouragement getting on over to the current uh, Marksman meta. She's been finding success with Q Max builds, so we're adding more incentive by boosting its scaling. Bro, shout out to Right for decreasing, adding and all that stuff, man. Yo, it, a lot of mats and a lot of stuff going to this, man. Uh, so, Q Pilt. Sorry, so Q uh, Piltover, uh, peace, Peacemaker. So damage ratio is going to increase to 130, uh, 145, uh, 160, and uh, 175. Um, so pretty much, oh, sorry, 175, 190, 190, so 80 percent. And it goes on and on. And it goes on and on. She drives me crazy. She go. All right, so, so we going on to uh, Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia, base empowerment damage increase. So Cassiopeia used to be a lane bully, but over the years, her gameplay has become farming uh, patiently through the early game until she scaled up to a point where she's able to uh, dish out the damage. With this damage, she'll be more able to press and advantage when the, she lands her Q in the early landing landing phase. So, uh, Twin Fang E uh, E to uh, Twin Fangs uh, base empower damage is going to increase to uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So, increasing by 20 on each. So, when when our, our e, e bonus uh, attack speed decrease early. So equipped with a uh, raw stats power and a big all uh, pair of scissors, it's a little, it's a little too uh, too easy for Gwen to snip back and even the toughest of opponent. We are uh, looking to sharpen her intent weakness by tapping down the speed of her slashes from level one. So um, E skip and slash um, bonus um, attack because it it's gonna um, decrease to uh, 40, 35. 50, 65, and 80 percent. For um, Ariella, um, the Q, the W damage ratio decrease. So uh, damage reduction decrease later. So after a good visit in the 11.114 uh, patch notes, Ariella ended up on the strong side, but it, but in a much better position to balance moving forward. Uh, we'll be um, watching to see where she lands long term. But for now. We're limited to the power of her W. So W defiant damage. Uh, so it's gonna decrease to 40% D um, and 120% uh, D maximum percent. So damage um, reduction. So it's gonna go from 40, 
40, so it's going to be 40 percent to uh 75 percent physical damage and 20 35 percent uh magic damage level one to four to 18. so for kale base significant resistant uh decrease in the mid lane uh kale a uh, safe uh, pick who can uh reliable that uh reliable fly her ground until she hit um her power spike uh reduction or magic reducing her magic resist it, resist from the get-go should give opponents more opportunity to punish her vulnerability early in the game so base uh magic reset is going to go to um from 30 to 26. for kennen so um struggle across the board Kenan base set of uh, side for a while now where Hopper is um, main ability to feel more like a strike from a storm rather than a th than a sting. Uh, so thunder, turn thunder and shuriken. Uh, it's going to increase to so 85, uh, 130, 175, 220, and 265. So 80 percent increase in um, AP. So for more, uh, more the Kaiser man W cooldown decrease uh, st uh stored post uh mitigate mitigation damage from damage dealt increase. So the Iron are uh, revenant being having trouble standing up to the current fighters in top lane. So we're passing in more durability to help him hold his own in the lane and overall throughout the game. Uh, w indestructible. Uh, cooldown equals so it's going to decrease to 12 11 10 9 and 8 uh, seconds uh, for the store post in, uh, mitigation for the store post mitigation damage more damage dealt equal it's going to go from 35 percent to 85 I mean uh, 45 percent uh, for uh, Nidalee uh, Natalie Natalie um, base out and health growth increase. So Natalie is known for her being fierce, but as of late, her performance across all the level of play has been anything. But with more health, she should uh, be less afraid to um, bring out um, the damage against her pre, and should also yeah should also um, help her feel more accessible for players who just picking her up. Um, so health is going to increase from 245 to uh, 270 and uh, level 1 and uh, health uh, growth is going to be um, from 86 to not I mean 85 to 95 reading so much so for rel double cooldown decrease so um, rel is champion who brings uh, disruption and fear to her field foes uh, especially when she's able to pull out her full combo in extended fights, but she's been weak across all level of play. We're uh, reverting her 11.5 nerf, so she'll be able to crush down on her opponent and uh, tough on fight and uh, tough out the fight and uh, mount up and able to do it all over again, man. So W Feromancy, um cooldown equal 11%. 11 seconds uh, okay so for rumble for rumble so for rumble various rumble um, heat system uh, bug fixes and other QOL adjustment um, so we're addressing some uh, frustration bugs around the rumble overheated system that they were left from our changes in the patch 11.3 and 1.3 so 11.13 uh, these fixes should even out some um, abnormality, um, abnormalities and help players feel uh, more in control of uh, Tristy. So passive junkyard titan. So uh, heat decay fixes a bug where rumble heat would um, start decaying at the inconsistency. 
inconsistent uh, um, time instead of the intended for a second. Um, overheat check, so rumble now immediately overeats um, upon the reaching 100 um, heat. And um, instead of having a, a short window where multiple spells could be cast before overwhelming. Um, shop undo bug fix. Rumble. Rumble's heat. Rumble's heat no longer it reaches to resets to provide values when um, shop purchases, which is pretty good. And uh, tool pit. Tool tip. Um, now currently indicate overheat, overheat and uh, duration of 8.5.25 um, seconds, man, which is pretty fast. And uh, actual overheat duration unchanged, man. Yeah, everything is seconds. So elect our pool, man. So out of the range bug fix, rumble are no longer stops uh, ranging when targeting electro our pool. At extremely long distance. All right, we're gonna start right there. We're gonna go into some other stuff. It's a lot of stuff. So items equal the hull breaker. Hull breaker could use some help as the game reaches later phases of the game, will give it more durability and uh, for anyone who hunting alone. So pretty much, um, boarding party bonus resistant. Equals 20 to 60 bonus armor and bonus magic um, resistant uh, level 9 to 18 uh, Boarding party mission bonus uh, reference uh, Resistance uh, pretty much equals 60 to 180 uh, bonus armor and uh, um, And bonus magic resistance so ultimate spellbook update equals um a lot of bug fixes man so let's go so they pretty much ultimate bug fixes update the ultimate summoner spell pool the champion buff champion nerfs um ultimate summoner buff equal mission fortune uh jinnar uh ezreal r lux r and uh Zeroth e alt uh yeah okay so ultimate uh, summoner nerf Olarf R equals zero. Zero bonus ability haste. So bug fixes and more men. Stealth mission can now get uh stealth alternate uh summoning summoners uh, offer to them. So um clones will only um clones will only properly copy health bar icons including the um alternative alternate uh summoner ion the fixes applies more broadly as well example um omni stones will now properly copy in icon over copy its icon over um first blood gold now correctly uh, matches the classic um summoner rift value one 100, 150 gold equal 100 gold um dragon sold um dragon sold revive no triggers after damage no trigger after damage after champions revive uh fix a bug where the announcement test for st uh stealing a ruined dragon was incorrect uh volibear will no longer sometimes uh Sometimes spit out missile, spit out myself um, from its alternate uh, summoning when trying to to bite. It's a lot, y'all, man. So class starts. Uh, so Mount Dragon Clash, Clash Weekend of July, taking theme. Class will be July twenty four to July twenty fifth. Uh, then formation for the second weekend will open starting on July 19th. Random City Clash, the first weekend of the Bonus City. Um, team Clash will, will be August 7th and August 8th. Team Formation for the first weekend will be open starting at August 2nd. And uh, yeah, this. Yeah. 
and the second weekend will be during patch 11.16 so bug fixes q and l uh changes uh, a lot of changes so upcoming skin in chrome so the following skin will be available in the patch equal sentinel grave uh sentinel pipe sentinel uh rengar ruin um misfortune um cyber pop arkin and uh unbound thresh man so shout out to everybody out there shout out to you guys and also the following um chromas will be available this uh the, with this patch too sentinel grave sentinel pike sentinel ranger uh ruin misfortune and uh cyber pop Oscar, man. so shout out to right game shout out to you guys for sticking around man i kind of get a little tighter on that but it's a lot of reading but it is what it is bring it to you guys no matter what man so uh subscribe to the channel let me help me get a thousand subscribers with that i'm out of here peace